Welcome! Over the next few minutes, we will show you how to print the T4AS Leaps and Summary from Sage50 Accounting 2016.2 Canadian Edition. Yes, you can now print the T4AS Leaps and Summary for vendors and contractors from Sage50. Please note that this feature is available for Pro or higher versions and a support plan that includes payroll tax updates is required to access it. Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, requires that you submit a T4A slip if you have paid certain types of incomes to vendors or employees and if the total of all payments to that vendor or employee in the calendar year was more than $500, or you deducted tax from any of the payments. Sage 50 can print the information in three boxes in the T4A. Box 20 is used for self-employed commissions. This is the amount of commissions you pay to an independent agent. It does not include GST, HST paid to the recipient of those services. Box 28 is used for other information, for example, daycare subsidies income. Box 48 is used for fees for services. These are any fees or any other amount paid for services. Do not include the GST or HST paid to the recipient for these services. We recommend you talk to your accountant or visit the CRA website to obtain more information about the T4A slips and to determine if you need to submit them for any of your vendors. Invoice payments and other payments are included in the T4A calculations. Prepayment, credit notes, and prepaid orders are not. Also, if a partial payment is made against an invoice, Sage50 calculates the payment excluding taxes amount using the average tax rate from the invoice. Let's now look at how to print the T4A slips and summary from Sage50. Before printing the T4A slips and summary, we need to set up the vendors. We'll set up one of the vendors for our example. First, we open the vendor records and go to the T4A and T5018 tab. Then, we click Include this vendor when filing and verify the T4A option is selected. Please note that you can print a T4A slip or a T5018 form for the vendor from Sage50. You need to print a T5018 form if your construction company deals with subcontractors. Next, we need to select the box in which to report the payment amount on the T4A form. We'll select box 48 for our example. The amount that will be printed in the T4A slip is displayed in the Payments Excluding Taxes section in the Statistics tab. We can now save the vendor records. Let's now look at how to print the T4A slips and summary. First, we go to the Reports menu, then Vendors and Purchases, Print T4A slips. Next, we select the vendors we want to print the T4A slips for and select the calendar year. Remember, only those vendors who have the option selected in their vendor record show up in the selection list. For our example, we'll select the options needed for sending paper copies of the T4A slips and of the T4A summary to the CRA. If the option for printing the T4A summary for the CRA has been selected, we need to enter the business and the contact information. Then we click OK and Yes if prompted to save the information. This information is also used for printing the T4 slips for employees. Review the information displayed. You can select a different box code from the list to report the vendor payment amount on a different box on the T4A. We'll leave it at box 48 for our example and click OK. The T4A slips and summary have now been printed. Let's click OK to go back to the home window. We'll now look at how to open the vendor list report which contains information related to the T4A. Four new columns have been added to the vendor list report. These columns let you see information printed in the T4A slips and summary. As you have seen, you can now easily print the T4A slips and summary from Sage50 Accounting.